So since the start of Season 2, there's been a lot of changes to the weapons here in Modern Warfare Zombies. With enough time finally passing of me using these weapons, I'm finally comfortable to putting this list together. I know this has been requested for a minute, but here is the top 7 loadouts to use here in Season 2 in Modern Warfare Zombies. I do usually exclude Wonder Weapons from these, and just stick to the guns that you guys can always equip into your loadouts. So starting off at our number 7 spot, we're going to be coming in here with the BP-50. Now assault rifles don't get a lot of love here in Zombies, but this thing, I'm telling you guys, it shreds. When I first took this thing into the red tier zone and I was trying it out on the zombies I was very impressed with it and it tears off those heads on the mega abominations fairly fast hell this thing even holds its own in the dark ether we're gonna throw the loadout on the screen right here this is an assault rifle that is definitely worth a try while there is many good SMGs here in modern warfare zombies coming in at number six is gonna be the rival nine and this thing is still reigning supreme this is one of my personal favorite SMGs to run in the game the mobility on it is just insane it's incredible incredibly snappy and the power is just really underrated this gun is amazing you definitely are not going to need a legendary ether tool even just pap 2 with an epic and this thing is going to handle almost anything in this game that you come across we're going to be throwing the loadout up on the screen right here i think this is definitely an smg that you guys should try and still one of the best here in season two coming in at our number five spot we're going to have the hurricane from modern warfare 2 now the reason why this thing is actually placing on this list is because of how fast it can kill the storm caller with the tonfa being nerfed and one of the only other ways to kill the storm caller extremely fast is going to be the vr11 the hurricane is an excellent option for you guys to use if you need to complete that mission and also it's not a bad gun at all to use with 200 rounds after this thing is back a punch i just ended up making a complete run farming up contracts in the red zone and then we went into the dark ether and completed that and this thing honestly completely held its own i'm going to throw up the loadout on the screen that i like to use right here and like I've said before, you guys can mix and match some of the attachments if you'd like, but this is my suggested loadout. Now, our number fourth spot is going to be taken up by a shotgun that I didn't think was going to be put on this list, but I want to talk about the Haymaker. Now, in season one, I tried using this shotgun a few times and it was pretty duty. But after season two, they ended up making some changes to this thing because now it's one of the best guns to use in the game. Pair this thing with slug rounds and a laser and you can just sit there and hip fire and pop this thing off continuously. It's honestly a very powerful gun and that fire rate just makes it incredible for killing those mega abominations And if you put the no stock attachment on this thing, you can have great movement with it as well We're gonna throw up the loadout on the screen right here If you guys use this thing in season one, I guarantee you if you come back here in season two and try it out You will be impressed now taking up our number three spot You guys might be a little bit surprised on this one But it is another shotgun and it's gonna be the lockwood now This thing did fall from its number one or number two spot because I don't know about you guys, but I kind Kind of felt like they did something to this shotgun it is still a very very good shotgun and one of the best to use in the game but i don't feel like it's as powerful as it used to be I do think it is a slightly better option to choose over the haymaker just because it is more powerful i would say if you guys are really going boss hunting and stuff like that i would stick to the lockwood but the haymaker does have that ease of use thing going for it but the lockwood is still an incredible option to use here in modern warfare zombies we're gonna throw the loadout on the screen right here here just unfortunately right now i think the lockwood kind of got knocked down by these two next upcoming guns taking our number two spot is going to be the stingers when you put these things in a kimbo and these things are little demons i do wish the mag size was just slightly bigger but they're powerful as all hell they really remind me of baby swarms now with the mag size and how powerful that the swarms used to be i would say it was better to run the swarms over the stingers but since the swarms caught a small nerf and the stingers haven't been touched i would say these are definitely the better option and i find myself grabbing these things for my loadout all the time now they're great for the red zone they're great for the dark ether hell they kill those mega abominations really fast the only thing i wouldn't recommend you do with these things is fight the red worm so here's going to be that loadout for those stingers this is a loadout that i highly recommend you guys try here in season two i think you may just find a new favorite loadout to rock and here it is yes i know the pressure's been building coming in at our number one spot we got the ram nine now what can i really say about this gun it is incredible all the way down from the movement to how it handles the bosses to those red zone zombies this is a gun that you definitely do not need a legendary ether tool or to even get this thing up to pap three even if you just have it to pap two you should be just fine now this smg is honestly great for almost anything in this game you can handle the red zone the dark ether hell it's even a wonderful weapon to take into that red worm fight right now it just all around is the best 
best gun to use in Modern Warfare Zombies. I can't post a single video or do any sort of testings or anything without my whole comment section just be filled with everybody saying the Ram 9, the Ram 9, the Ram 9. I know guys, trust me, I know. Let's go ahead and throw that loadout on the screen for the Ram 9 right here. If you guys haven't used this gun yet here in this season, please try it out. It will blow you away. That is going to be about it guys. That is my top seven loadouts to use here in Modern Warfare Zombies here in season two. Let me know down in the comments section what guns you guys are rocking here in season two. I know we all got some different preferences and hell, some of us know some things that aren't really public knowledge yet. But yeah, I appreciate everybody that stopped by the video today. Thank you all so much for all the support on the channel lately. It just blows my mind. Please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if anybody is new. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you guys in the next one.